Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Deep Cut Dive, and happy July 1st to everybody. Can't believe it's July already. This summer's just flying by, actually. The last, like, uh, geez, it seems like since, like, the beginning of March, since kind of like coronavirus started, it seems like this, it's just, the year's just flying by. Flying by, nothing much to speak of. Okay, it's been a weird time for everybody, but you know what? There's always music. And there's always music to talk about and discuss, and that's what we do here each and every day. So thanks for joining. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed the flurry of activity uh, I gave you on the channel for the last day of the month yesterday. I worked like a dog all day yesterday. I was up uh, shooting at the wee hours of the morning, like 7 a.m., sitting here at the desk, cranking out videos. Okay, worked a full day at the day job, and then was doing videos into the night and all to bring it to you guys so if you missed it <clears throat> yesterday we had grand funk railroad and ambrosia and star castle and marillion and former marillion singer fish okay that was all yesterday probably my most prolific day here on youtube i think that i can recall uh somehow managed to squeeze it all in worked like a <laughs> had to have been like a 15 hour day yesterday between everything so here we are july 1st Deep Cut Dive. So here on Deep Cut Dive, we take a look at five tracks. I'm going to offer you up five tracks from a very notable band. Not hit singles, not radio stuff, not greatest hits type fodder, okay? Not songs they played on their classic live album or classic live albums, and not songs that they had in their set list on the live concert circuit all the time. All right, so stuff that's mainly album tracks, deep album tracks, not the popular songs. And I figured, you know what, I know we just started this show last week, but one of the bands that I really wanted to tackle on this kind of format is Journey. They're perfect for this because so many, you know, it's like when it comes to Journey, you got like a couple camps. You have the people who won't listen to anything but the popular songs that were sung by Steve, Jer Steve Perry. It's like if it's not with Perry, I don't want to hear it and I only really like the hits, okay? And then you have the people who refuse to listen to the, the majority of the Journey catalog because they don't like the Steve Perry stuff. They don't like the hits. And have like ignored everything else by this band. So this is, this is absolutely perfect. So I'm actually not going to do any Steve Perry material at all today. Okay? Because I want all of you, if you fall into either of those two camps, if you've, because you hate open arms and don't stop believing and faithfully, you just never listen to this band... This is the show for you because I'm going to give you some deep cuts that you absolutely need to check out, okay? And if you're someone who just can't get past, if it's not with Steve Perry, it's not Journey, I've got some great stuff for you, okay? So sit tight, listen up. For all of you big-time Journey fans out there who are watching, I'm going to ask for your help to also dig five or ten other nuggets from their catalog, the non-hits, the non-popular tracks, for those who maybe don't know this band too well or only know the hits and want to dive a little deeper, right? So let's get started. So I'm going to go way back. So we're going to go way back and then we're going to go current. That's what we're going to do on the show. All the stuff in the middle, not covering it today. So number one, uh, my first offering here, my first deep cut, going to go all the way back to the first album from 1975, to uh, Journey, self-titled. The song is called Topaz. Instrumental, jazz fusion glory. Really good. Got bits of hard rock in there. If you like some of the, uh, the kind of stuff that Neil and Greg did with Santana, the more instrumental stuff, but this is definitely more hard charging. Topaz is excellent. Think a little bit of, uh, you know, instrumental Jeff Beck, a little bit of Return to Forever, Tony Williams' Lifetime, Mahavishnu Orchestra, but with like lots of fire, a lot of piss and vinegar, great guitar solo and great keyboards, all instrumental fire. If you love prog rock and jazz fusion, you love the, the more instrumental stuff, absolutely check out Topaz. There's a other stuff on this album that I wanted to recommend as well. Can't all do it from one album. Uh, also check out my uh, Journey Top 10 Song Show because I actually threw a couple really good nuggets in there as well. So, uh, yeah, Topaz. Glorious, glorious stuff. Like I said, if all you know a journey is, uh, you know, don't stop believing and open arms and a couple, and, you know, the more pop stuff, the radio stuff, you ain't heard nothing yet, folks. All right, so next up, going to go to the next album. Look into the Future from 1976, a song called She Makes Me Feel Alright, heavy, hard rocking, furious guitar riffing and soloing from Neil Sean, great Greg Raleigh vocals and Hammond organ, thunderous rhythms from Ansley Dunbar, okay, just, uh, man, what a drummer, 
perfect for this band early on. Uh, this is heavy, heavy rockin' Journey. Right? Again, if you only think of Journey as kind of like a pop band or radio band, listen to She Makes Me Feel Alright. Cranking stuff. Cranking stuff. Doesn't end there. Let's go to the third album called Next from 1977. A song called Hustler. Another wailing, crunchy slice of 70, mid-70s hard rock with some screaming guitar soloing and, and crunchy riffing from Neil. More great vocals from Greg Raleigh. Man, I love Greg Raleigh's vocals. As much as I love Steve Perry, I just absolutely love Greg Raleigh. And I, you know, a part of me, I really like when they brought Steve Perry in the band and Steve and Greg both kind of shared the lead vocal slot. I really like that a lot. Like those early albums with Steve Perry are so good. And like, you know, I know Greg left... And they brought in, you know, Jonathan Cain, and he brought some great songwriting skills, and, you know, the band got bigger than ever. But, man, sometimes I wish, I really wish we could go back in time and keep Greg in this band, because I think Greg Raleigh was such an important part of the early Journey sound. But back, you know, Hustler, man, what great riffs in this song. Just a kick-ass, hard rock song, head-banging song. I'm telling you, she makes me feel all right in Hustler. You know, again, most people who only know Journey from the big hit machine later on would probably hear those songs and be like, whoa, check that out. So that's what I want you guys to do. All right, now that we covered like some of the early, early period, we're going to go way ahead, okay? Steve Perry, been gone from the band for what, like 20 years? Long time, right? So they've got a guy singing for the last decade plus named Arnel Pineda from the Philippines. Great singer, great front man. Okay, they've actually done some really good material with him in the band. They've got a couple of uh, studio albums with him. I'm going to go to uh, 2008's Revelation for a song called Change for the Better. Better change for the better. If you're someone who loves the late 70s, early mid 80s Steve Perry era, loves all those big anthemic hits, those good hard rock songs with the soaring choruses and the great guitars and keyboards and just, you know, really catchy, really memorable anthems. Change for the Better should have been an enormous hit for this band. It's my life. Better change for the better. It's got to change for the better, I should say. It's got great lyrics. It's very uplifting. It rocks hard. But, man, the, the, the hooks are to die for. Again, Change for the Better from Revelation should have been a massive hit. But again, you know, we know how it goes with, you know, rock and hits nowadays. It just doesn't happen. Uh, the next one from 2011, also with Arnel Pineda on board, we've got uh, the Eclipse album, a song called Edge of the Moment. This song kind of harkens back to some of that heavy, heavy proggy stuff from the early mid-70s. Okay? It's got a haunting chorus. It's got hard-driving riffs from Neil Sean blistering guitar work to start it all off it's it's heavy it's rocking it's a little darker this album is a little darker journey that's why i like it darker and heavy a little more progressive okay lots of good musicality on this album a lot of hooks on here too but it's definitely this is a more serious heavy rock and journey edge of the moment great vocals from arnel pineda okay the uh, edge of the moment's kind of like man it's it's like i said it's heavy it's progressive it's almost it's almost got some metal in spots right it's just uh, just really, really cranking good song. So there you have it. Uh, Topaz from the first album. She Makes Me Feel Alright from Look Into the Future. Hustler from Next. Change for the Better from Revelation. And Edge of the Moment from Eclipse. I highly urge you to check out those five songs if you have not heard them. My guess is we're going to have a lot of people who have not heard some of these songs or haven't heard some of them, you know, or maybe all of them. All right. So, uh... If you're interested in playing along and you're a big Journey fan, you know their catalog pretty well, please offer up five or ten deep cut tracks. Remember, non-popular songs from the Journey catalog for those who are watching who may not know Journey all that well and maybe are looking to dive a little deeper. So, This is on the web at www.ctranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Coming up today, shortly, top ten songs of Humble Pie. You don't want to miss that one. Looking forward to cranking that out for you. Tomorrow, Jeff Young coming on the show. Deep Cut Dive. Steely Dan, Friday morning. Judas Priest, Deep Cut Dive with Jack Tolinano. Martin Popo is coming back on the show tomorrow as well. We're going to give you our top ten songs from the babies. What else we got going on? Man, a lot of things happening. There's more, but they're escaping me at the moment. So stay tuned for all of that, and we'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.